everyone. Welcome to a new video. It is me, Desiree, and we're here today to talk about some products I regret purchasing. So these aren't necessarily bad. They're just things I don't like for one reason or another. Many of them are for the smell. And, you know, I'm a big scent person. A lot of smells I don't like or can use. I'll get a headache. Um, so a lot of these are for the smell. Let's get those ones out of the way. First up, the stinky body wash. This is the Caress Shower Foam uh, Body Wash in the scent White Orchid and Coconut Milk. The scent on this is so strong. Not only is it way, way, way too strong, it I can't stand the scent of it. It smells like a really old, dated floral powder. Just so strong. I don't like anything about the smell of that. And then this Dove Foamy Hand Wash. This is a really nice hand wash, but it smells like B.O. to me, so I don't like it. Um, the next thing I regret purchasing is the Sephora Dry Clean Instant Dry Brush Cleaner Spray. This stuff actually works awesome. My favorite instant cleaner is actually the Real Techniques one. They only sell this on their website though. I used to be able to find it at Walgreens and now I can't. Um, I did just buy another one recently. This stuff's amazing. But I saw that Sephora had one. This is more of like an aerosol can. It works really, really well, but the scent is really, really strong on this and it lingers. It'll stay on your brushes. I can smell it when I'm using my brushes and I just don't like the smell of it, but it does work really well. Just can't handle it. Um, this was a recent purchase for me. This is the Garnier Micellar Eye Makeup Remover Pads. So if you know, I love the Garnier Micellar Foaming Cleanser. It's my favorite, favorite face wash for removing makeup. It's the best. It's the bomb. So when I saw these, I thought I'd give them a try. They are not soft. So they have they come in like these little things, kind of like the Almay ones do. But these are really hard. And they are very irritating to my eye area. I don't like I don't like it. So they're just too hard. Um, so I've been using these to remove swatches and stuff. I feel kind of weird returning them. So I'm just going to keep using them for other things. But around the eye area, they're not soft enough for such a delicate area. So there's those. This little thing, this is from Tarte. It's called foil finger paints and I don't like this so they feel fine but this thing dried up so fast so fast and like they're hard as a rock now they're you can't use them I don't know why they packaged it like this because these are cream eyeshadows I don't know I just didn't like it I mean they dried up so fast a couple of things oh hi cat a couple things from Pixie. I did talk about these in my Pixie video. Uh, the Pixie Brow Tamer. This doesn't hold for nothing. And then the Lower Lash Mascara. This also just flakes and smudges and smears on lower lashes. Like you would think a lower lash mascara might have some lasting power. Oh, I got a little cut right there. Um, but this doesn't. It smears and smudges and I don't like it. <clears throat> a couple of sponges. I have this Real Techniques. This one was called like Contour or something sponge. This is not the same like squishy quality that the regular sponge does have. What am I trying to say? This isn't the same as the Miracle Complexion sponge. It's like, uh, I got distracted by the dog, I'm sorry. Um, it's really, really hard and dense and it doesn't soften up when you wet it. Same thing with this wet and wild sponge, just really dense. When I was using this, like you can hear it bouncing on your face, just don't like it. And this, why, what is this? Okay. This Urban Decay sponge. So when I saw this on Ulta's website, it looks like this little piece is plastic, like a silicone, but it's not. It's just like a piece of plastic that they melted onto the sponge. And it's so dumb. I don't like this at all. The sponge is not good. This piece of plastic just gets in the way. It's not what I wanted it to be, and I don't like it. This lotion from Hemp's, this is the sponge sugar and vanilla bean. I got this in a, um, like a sampler set from Ulta recently. And I really liked the other one that I used of this. I can't, oh, is it pineapple? Pineapple and melon or something. That one was really, really good. This stinks. This is a limited edition one. It's so glittery. I don't know if you can, you can't see it. It has some shimmer in it and it looks like it would be really nice, but once you get this on, the gl it's so glittery, it's so obvious. Don't bite the carpet. And the scent is awful. This is the worst vanilla I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells so cheap. Like cheap vanilla smells better than this. I just hate this. It gave me a headache. I don't like it. 
<clears throat> this is from Honest Beauty. This is the Everything Primer Glow. I thought this would be like my favorite thing right here. <gasps> my favorite thing is not right there. The uh, Laura Geller Under Makeup, Slacko Under Makeup Tinted Primer in the shade Ethereal. This actually looks really, really nice on the skin and I, I enjoy using it, but it stinks. It smells like pennies. And like, it just smells like metal and pennies to me. And I just, I hate the smell. I could smell it all day and it's very annoying to me. <clears throat> this is from Mad Hippie. It's a face cream. I don't like this at all either. It took, it takes forever to blend into your skin. Like it feels like you're just rubbing, 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 rubbing. And it's not moisturizing enough. I don't like this at all. This eyeshadow trio was very disappointing to me. This is from Smashbox. I have been wanting one of these like lens ones for so long. It's called a Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. This is the shade Pick Me, P-I-C. And I, this is awful, so awful. This one here is nice and then these two glittery ones are so bad. But they, they kind of go on like a pressed glitter. I'm not interested in getting a glitter glue to make them work. I think they should just work the way they are. So flaky, they fall all over my face. I don't like them at all. And big disappointment here. Oh my God. Ugh, I forgot this was in here. So I love this brand. So I love collab, okay? I love a lot of their things. Uh, their eyeshadow palettes are great. This is the worst concealer I've ever used without exaggeration. So this is the No Flaws Under Eye Concealer. I got the shade Light Peach. And I thought this was going to be kind of like the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector that I love so much. And I just thought I would try something different. I, okay, this goes on beautiful. It immediately cancels out your under eye darkness. Looks great. Within an hour or two, it was cr literally crumbling. And I looked in the mirror at work and I was like, I did interviews with this on. I did evaluations with this concealer on and then afterwards I went to look in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, why didn't anybody tell me? It was creased, but not just like a nice crease. It was heavily, obviously creased. All the concealer was crumbly and it like balled up into little balls. It was the worst experience. Absolutely hated this. I thought, you know what? Maybe I put too much eye cream on that day or something or I didn't set it. I tried it again, exact same thing. It was the worst. I hate this. Mm -mm. Uh, next I have the Natasha Denona mini star palette. I just don't think this is very good. Um, the two mattes in here are lovely, but the other three shimmers I think are just not good. I don't like them at all. And I continue to buy these little mini palettes because I think they're, they're bit, the mini sunset though was the best one, but this one was not good for me. I don't recommend it. Personally, I just didn't care for three out of the five shadows. Uh, this is the No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. I love the uh, primer stick that this brand has. I think I have it in my little box there. Love that thing. It really, truly works. I buy it all the time. And I wanted to try this for so long. I ended up getting this in a boxy charm a couple months ago or a few months ago now. This doesn't do anything whatsoever. I don't get the hype on this. It doesn't work at all. And I think because the stick is so good and I love that one so much, this one cannot compare. And it doesn't do anything for me. <clears throat> oh, this is something I thought I threw away. And as I was cleaning out all my stuff, I found it again. Dog's chasing the cat. This is the Physician's Formula Rose All Day Oil Free Serum. This is absolutely awful. I hate this. I cannot believe they make this for people to put it on their skin. It's like shimmery. It's just no, 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 no. And then this little thing, I have two more things. This is the, ugh, it's all full of crap. This is so gross. This is the Lano Lips ointment. This seeps out of the package all over. It gets everywhere. It tastes disgusting. It feels gross on my lips. Don't like this whatsoever. And then the last thing I kind of regret getting is the Revlon Candid Glow. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't have any coverage. I did talk about this in a video. I'll link down below in case you want a more comprehensive um, opinion. But I, I just kind of regret buying it. It just doesn't do a whole lot for me. It's nice to use, but I mean, I did end up returning the bronzer and the highlighter that came with this, the Candid. And I just, I, I couldn't bring myself to return this because I used a bunch of it, but I'll continue to use it. But I just, I don't know, kind of regret buying it now. And that is that, my friends. Thanks for watching this video. Someone at the door. Is my boyfriend home? I don't know. 
Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Share with me some products you recently purchased that you regret. I would love to know what they are. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.